Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy end of February, beginning of March, whenever you guys are watching this. I am so excited to do another plan with me video. I posted one for February and I am so excited for March's plan with me. I feel really aligned with myself for March and I'm really excited entering March, um, the last month of Q1. So I'm feeling really, really optimistic and really good, very goal oriented heading into this month. And I'm just so excited to plan it. This month I'm using my iPad to plan and I'm using the digital daily manifest planner. Um, I will have the exact one that I'm using linked down below, but this one is a January 2023 start. So it goes from January to December of 2023 um, and it's hyperlinked. It's my planner. Um, so I am a little biased, but I think it's perfect. It's the systems that I use. It's everything that I've been using for years and years. I just now compiled it into PDFs available for you guys to purchase. Um, so if you guys want to use the exact planner that I'm using in this video, it's a digital download planner and I will link it down below in my description box. Um, but I also sell this version of the planner in a hard copy and that is what I used in February. If you guys want to check that out and see what the differences are, the digital is definitely more detail oriented and some months I'm really into that and other months I want it like a little more simplified. Um, so it just depends, but lately I've been back kind of on my digital planning grind you guys will see in this video that i just have like little tips and tricks that are so small but they really maximize the efficiency of the planner and what you can do with a digital planner is so limitless and you can really customize it to be exactly how you need and you can mess up a million times and it will always look perfect at the end of the day so you can keep erasing it and everything like that. I will have everything that I use linked down below, including the iPad, the dimensions, the pen, the screensaver, like everything you guys can think of, I'll have linked down below because I get a lot of questions about it. Um, but I invite you guys to plan with me as you guys are planning for March. Um, so put on a music playlist that you like, maybe a podcast. I recommend Manifest with Tori D. Simone. I also have a playlist that I really like to plan to. It's called the Manifest Planner. I will link that playlist down below along with a couple others. There's this one from Spotify, it's called Stay In Bed and I really love that one too. So I'll link that below. Uh, but yeah, just light a candle. It's a rainy day and the mood is like so nice for planning and stuff like that. So I really am excited to do today's plan with me. I hope you guys like these videos. I'd love any feedback that you guys have. If you want more voiceovers, if you want them to be in real time and it's kind of just like a study with me vibe where we just plan together and you don't need me voiceovering anything. Let me know how you guys want these videos and if you want them on weekly installments as well. Be sure to follow my Instagram. I have my personal Instagram, which is Tori Sterling, and then I have the planner's Instagram. And on that planner Instagram, I also post like little tips and tricks of how to use the planners and weekly plannings and stuff like that. I hope you guys like the planner content. I am like such a planner junkie. I have been for years and it only took me 10 years of having a YouTube channel to finally post the stuff that I do like every single week. Um, so it feels really organic to me. It feels really right. And I feel like the right audience is going to start to find these videos. So I'm really excited for them and I hope you guys enjoy them. And without any further ado, let's get on to the video. All right. So let's begin. Um, like I said, I'll have all the accessories down below, but I'm using the manifest planner, digital daily dated edition. Today we're going to be filling out the month at a glance spread and the monthly intentions and a little trick of what I like to do for the months, um, for weekly plannings as well, just so I can like continue to manifest and visualize how the month will go. So as I do these plan with me's, I always have my Google calendar next to me and today I'm using my laptop. Um, sometimes I use my phone. If I'm using the physical planner, I'll use my iPad. Obviously I'm using my iPad to digital plan today. But the reason that I use both my manifest planner and my Google calendar is that my Google calendar is like my rough draft of keeping track of everything. So that's where I put literally everything. Tasks that I need to do, like for example, they're like our 
class-based system for stride only populates every 90 days out. So like once every 90 days, I'll go in and add in substitutes for, you know, classes in advance. So like, I'll make that like a task on like, maybe like a random Tuesday in March or something. So those like little things, I put everything in my Google calendar, like what I want to post on my social platforms, exact details of workouts, like everything goes on my Google calendar. And then when I go in to work out the month at a glance, I only put down like the need to knows. So if I'm traveling somewhere, I'll write that down. I do write down my general workouts in my calendar just because now with marathon training, I like to see what days I have off and what days I strength train and what days I spin and of course what days I run. So I like seeing that visually in this sort of layout. I also will write down any sort of social things that I need. Um, I like to track when podcasts come out. Um, So this really is just like a need to know basis. And I also kind of use this to plan out my months. So you'll see that I put something down in my month at a glance and then I rearrange it either to another date entirely or I get rid of it. And then I will immediately update that in my Google calendar as well so that the two talk to one another. I would love for there to be a day when this can sync with a a Google calendar and that's definitely the future for this brand. But for right now, I just got to use my own elbow grease to get the two to sync, but uh, that's fine. I put therapy in here. I really just put any appointments that I want to in my month at a glance spread so that by the end of the month, I can look at like a bird's eye view of it or at a glance view of it and see what days I have a lot of work to do or what days I have a lot of just events going on and then what days I have pretty open which seem to be Tuesdays and Wednesdays I have open and I really like it that way because I really utilize Tuesdays and Wednesdays as my quote unquote creative days to get a lot of things done for this brand and these planners. So once the month at a glance is finished, it typically looks like this. And then we move on to the March monthly intentions. I love monthly intentions. So it first starts with six goals, um, or should I say six priorities that you pulled from the beginning of your planner. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, the beginning of all of my manifest planners start with um, what I call the manifest method. And that is essentially visualization, manifestation through systems and practices that I've been using for years. So you write a letter to yourself, you take that letter and you pull priorities from that letter, and then you make goals of those priorities, and then you visualize those goals into action. And this system makes it incredibly clear moving forward of how you want to approach every day, every week, every month, every year. And you guys don't need the planner for that system. I did extract those 10 pages and just put them up for sale. They're called the manifest worksheets. You can get them um, linked down below on my Etsy shop or just on the manifestplanner.com. But either way, regardless, I pull all of my monthly goals from those goals in the worksheets in the beginning. Reason being, I have all of my intentions very mapped out of how I want this year to go. And each month serves towards my year goal. And then each week serves towards my month goal. And each day serves towards my week goal. So that's kind of how this all connects. So I'm just taking my priorities for 2023, the year, and putting them down in March and then listing goals for each of my like themes. I say priorities. You can really insert any word that works best for you. And I like to do a dot with the highlighter and then go back at the end of the month and check them off. I'm very much so like a checker offer kind of person. So I like doing that a lot. 
Um, now I'm going to move down into what I'm manifesting. This again is pulled from the beginning pages of the planner and you can get this at the manifest worksheets, but this really just kind of sets mantras in effect. And if you're ever stumped on what to write down and what you're manifesting, there are so many Spotify podcasts out there. I just say Spotify because it's my favorite, but there's tons of podcasts out there that have um, affirmations, mantras, and manifestations that you can listen to. And if you feel like aligned to them, you can write them down. Now moving on to my routines. So the routine that I focus the most on is the morning routine. And I've been in a really good morning routine all throughout the month of February and for most of January. So I keep my planning for this pretty simple because I'm not really switching up my routine right now. And I know what works for me and what's realistic. And I'm in a really good spot with my routine. So I'm just kind of jogging that down. Or I guess jotting that down, not jogging. And um, for my afternoon routine, I kind of am trying this new method that I'm learning from a audiobook that I'm listening to. It's called 4,000 Weeks. It's about productivity. And it kind of explains how to work um, or break down your workday. And so far, it's been really awesome for me. It's been very intentional with my time. I feel like I'm getting so much more done. And I feel like I get to have a life at the same time. So that's kind of what the self exploration is. I'm trying to figure out like if Instagram wasn't a thing, what would I do at the end of the day? Because I find myself just going on Instagram and then getting lost in this time warp. And it's just really not fun to be on Instagram from like six to nine every single night. So I'm trying to like find new hobbies. Anyway, moving on to the right side of the page, I'm writing down my goals for the month. And these are pretty much just like morning routine tracking goals. And then I also write down routines that I want to track throughout the month. Um, and yeah, that's my March monthly intentions. And I love this page. I refer to it a lot. Now I'm going into the worksheets that I was talking about. And I'm taking my ideal weekly spread that I worked through in that worksheet. And I just copied that page. And then I pasted it to the end of these three spreads. So now when you flip through it, it's the March month at a glance then the March monthly intentions, and then you flip one more time, and then it's the ideal weekly routine. And you can copy and paste any pages in the Digital Manifest Planner at any point, and then it just goes into the daily spreads. So now I'm ready for March, and thank you guys for watching.